Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. So today I want to discuss the lavender flowers uh, and I use this one as a tea as well. Like I use it like an herb and as always this is not medical advice so please check with your MD or alternative healing practitioner. Uh, so lavender just like the lavender essential oil is good for multiple health conditions and it has uh, multiple properties it's antibacterial antifungal antioxidant anti-stress calming we all know that lavender is calming to the system it's uh, decongestant it's uh, relaxant nervine which helps the nervous system it's an immune booster it's antiseptic it's anti-inflammatory anti-depressant uh, and anti-anxiety and it's a sedative so if you have insomnia or trouble sleeping uh, lavender tea in the evening or at night can help you relax and go to sleep um, it's good for multiple conditions it's good for abscesses for ADHD for anxiety for bloating for bronchitis for candida 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 candidiasis uh, for um, eczema for flu symptoms for low blood pressure for uh, nervous disorders for stress uh, for sarcoidosis for uh, sinusitis for social phobia for um, nausea for uh, hay fever for uh, fibromyalgia it, it helps with fibromyalgia uh, for asthma for uh, altitude sickness so if you go to a place where the altitude is very high this is a good herb for altitude sickness for uh, athlete's foot for uh, bloating uh, for depression for dizziness uh, so it's good for a lot of conditions uh, for vomiting so if you have vomiting if you have uh, stomach flu this is a good herb because it's also antibacterial for um, indigestion for insects bites or insect allergies uh, for hoarseness so it's good for multiple conditions from my experience it's a great herb to use if you uh, have a healing crisis so if you use you're doing a protocol for chronic Lyme disease or mold toxicity and if you experience the healing crisis this is a good herb to calm down the immune system and calm down the immune reaction um, and just help help you and support you during the healing crisis it helps a lot from my experience and it has two qualities this is a pungent herb and cooling so if you're someone who runs cold you should use a cooling herb with a warming herb so you get uh, so they it become balanced so from my experience I use lavender flowers uh, with ginger sometimes I use it with uh, thyme or oregano I rarely use it with oregano but I use it mostly with thyme with ginger sometimes with rosemary um any warming herb will help and it depends on what you're dealing with as well if you're trying to just relax the system i think uh, lavender with a little bit of ginger not too much but just a little bit of ginger will be helpful for detoxing the system um, if you're using it for mental or for just uh, just to relax yourself mentally is using lavender with rosemary uh, or ginkgo, uh, ginkgo herb can be very helpful or brahmi um, so it depends on what you're using it for if you're using it for also for a stomach issue uh, ginger with uh, gin ginger with lavender would be very helpful and mint so if you have like a stomach flu or stomach issue and you can, if you're not, if vomiting ginger with uh, 
ginger with uh, lavender and mint like peppermint or spearmint will be helpful for that uh, so it's a great herb if you use it alone or if you use it in combination it's a helpful herb like I said it's, it's very helpful for healing crisis uh, that people who have chronic illness go through so if you use lavender if you have experience with lavender please share it down below how do you use it uh, when do you use it and if you have questions please ask and see you guys in the next video bye